Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mike Stiegel Jr. and this is my review of Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me start out by saying that the graphics for this game are, are some of the best I've ever seen. I'm playing this currently on an Xbox One S, so some of the draw distances are not going to be you know hugely great or anything like that but um i just wanted to point out that i this video has no no storyline spoilers in it so i'm trying to do my best i will be doing some playthroughs on this video game so that being said the graphics are at a at a point where you can even see a horse poop i, I know that's kind of weird but it, it it is in this game i don't have it in this video but it is there um you could see every tree branch rustle and and move and um, basically everything that is in this in this game is such fine details. You can see individual grain on the wood, the light and the shadow. As you can see right here, the shadows are nice and sharp. They follow. Uh, there's like you feel like there's an actual sun right behind you. Cloth and everything else has shadows that come through on it as well. I apologize for the jerkiness of the video. I'm uh, basically going in and trimming his beard up on right here. But you can you can see the detail in the facial expressions right here uh, of how great the graphics are. I want to say that the controls are very are very intuitive too as well. They're they're a lot better than than the previous games that I've ever played, as far as that is concerned. Um, this game is being shot at 1080p at 30 frames a second. So I apologize if things look a little jerky and everything. I will try to do an edit on that video part itself. I'm doing the best that I can with what I have. I don't think my game capture device is able to capture said game. So this might be the only Red Dead 2 video that I'll be able to show. I apologize about that, folks. Gameplay is also very, very immersive. And it's so it's so immersive that you can spend hours on hours upon this game, and you would never even realize that you just spent like hours on this game, <laughs> because I mean, you you walk by and you you see something, and somebody some random character will start talking to you offhand, and and the, you'll end up just getting lost in the conversation or doing a side quest on the way to a mainline story quest. I'm sorry, not quest, missions, because there's missions in this game, not not quests. Sorry for again for the jerkiness of the video, but there's some, some of the graphics that I'm talking about. And there's a blank screen, sorry. Yeah, obviously my game capture device can't keep up with this. I'm going to have to upgrade at some point, but by you viewers watching this stuff, this will help me upgrade my videos. Missions are a good length of 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 storyline telling. Um, like I said, there's about 60 hours of gameplay in this video, and because of that, it ends up uh, making it so that your your storyline and everything is is well laid out. Everything kind of starts off in a small little bunch and it slowly expands throughout the map. So you're going to eventually hit every area and corner of the map. And the map is huge. And just 60 hours of main story quest followed up by hundreds of hours of, of side quests and things to do like brushing your horse and and grooming your face uh getting putting a hat on it almost becomes meta games in between those little things itself this is my war horse that i have right here the game does run a bit slow so if you're used to a faster paced action game you're gonna have to be prepared that it's gonna be a, a, a slow game it's basically um we're gonna look at the map here um it's basically just drawn out um, it, it's slowed down because this is the uh, I, I don't know if it fits the right pace because if, if this is a fast paced game I don't know if I could handle it too well but I, I think the pace of the game is just about perfect the beginning the beginning segment of this of the of the game does have a lot of um, it, it does take a slow start and teaches you the, the fundamentals of the game and it does a good job at it Fast travel is technically possible in this game. You have to get in, I would say, about three to four hours into this game for it to 
to fully unlock and then it and then it goes to the places that you've been to before so once it once you've been to a place before then you can fast travel back to said place or you can ride a train and then the train will will take you directly to that spot um we are on our way to a, a mission right here that's why I, it looks like the way it does um the landscape is varied it it goes from uh, like mountains and snow down to to valleys and plains and swamps i don't have swamps shown in this video i apologize um you can see smoke right there in the distance on the way into where we're going the the like i said uh i'm just amazed by the graphics i mean i'm playing on the xbox one s so th this isn't quite doing it justice i don't think um but you you do kind of get the gist of of what it is and it's a clear I, I, i'm assuming i'm playing this one at night um i i think that rockstar did an awesome job with this game and i've i've been only in this game for maybe seven or eight hours and i still have barely gotten 13 percent of the way through here like i said it's just a massive massive game uh, make sure you have the hard drive space to, to play the to install it on there because you're going to need about 88 gigs i think for the xbox one and the and it's about 100 gigs i think for the playstation 4 i will leave links in the comments below uh, in the description below on this video so that way you can purchase either the standard edition or the ultimate edition on both the xbox and the playstation 4 as well as purchasing said xboxes and all you do is click on the link below and you should take you to that page um, like I said, you, you can see that, that the horse controls are very intuitive. Um, you could basically hide the hub if you don't want if you want a completely immersive um, experience. So you do have those options there um, in this game. And um, we're approaching the end of this video. There's a little bit of humor here I've added for you, like a little peeping tom kind of thing. This is what I mean by the side quest. You get a little white blip on your screen, and then you can go in there and. Um, these two guys run off and I'm just trying to figure out what they're what they're watching I play all my games without sound um, yeah um, I want to say thank you and everybody who have subscribed to my youtube channel those of you who are new click on the subscribe orb at the end of this channel and um, please hit that like button and click that share button so that I know what everyone likes and what they what they want to share and so you caught somebody in the window. They're going to close the curtain. And this has been my review of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I give it a, a 10 out of 10 because Rockstar has knocked it out of the park. Once again, thank you very much for watching my review video. This is the first one I've ever done. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe orb. If and then click on the like button and the subscribe button so that way and then click the notification bell so that way you're notified every single time that I make a video and I want to say thank you very much and everyone have a nice day.